Today I'm going to show you a free hunting script created by Boy Development. With this, players can hunt, skin, and sell a variety of animals. There are multiple store types with support for multiple locations, so players can buy items they need and sell the meat and hides they got from hunting. I'll also mention it supports multiple frameworks and has multiple customization options so you can make it fit your server. I'll leave a link to the resource in the description where you can check out all the features, as well as the preview made by the creator. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. I will mention the dependencies are boy utils and a target system. Boy UI is optional if you want to use the dialogue feature. If you don't, when you interact with the pet, it will take you straight to the shop or store menu. So I'll start by installing boy utils first. So I'll right click and open it in a new tab. Then download it. Then add it to the resources and remove the extra stuff from the end. Then I'll go to Boy UI and do the same thing. I did leave a link in the description for this. Lastly, I'll go back and download the hunting resource. And add it as well. Once you have the dependencies in the resource, go to your server CFG and ensure them. I will mention the ensure or start order is important. The boy stuff needs to start after your framework and target. From there, ensure boy utils. Then boy UI if you chose to install it. And then boy hunting. After you've ensured them, hit File and Save. Then go back to the Resource folder, into the Items MD, and copy the items. Then go back to your Resources and into the QB folder, find QB Core, and go into Shared, and open the Items.lua. And then once you're in there, paste the items. Then hit File and Save. Next, go back to the Resource folder, into the Public folder, then into Assets and Images, and copy the images here. Then add them to your inventory following the correct path. I'm using QB inventory, so I'll be going there. Into HTML and images. Then paste what you copied. It'll replace some of the default images for the ammo and weapon, I believe. If you don't want that to happen, copy the images for the resource, exclude the defaults. So I'll go ahead and replace. And the last thing to look at is the config. So go back to the resource folder once again. Into the server folder and open the config.lua. The first section has the maximum distance players can be to buy or sell from the store and an option to drop the player if they're too far and try to do it, which I believe disconnects them. The next section is for the stores. See outside has the type of store and the mode is what players can do, which is buy or sell. Then you have the blip for the stores, the ped, and the locations. You can change the blip and blip color by going to the site, finding one you like, and replacing the number that's already there. The process for the ped is similar, the only difference being the model is a name and not a number. The next thing is the location. There's the ID, the cores, and you can enable or disable the blip and change the time the store opens and closes. If you want to add another location for the store, do so by following the format of the others, and there's commented out text telling you where to add it. The last thing is the items in the store. You can go through and change the prices or add more items. And again, there's commented out text that tells you where to add it. The rest of this section has other stores to sell regular meat and hides, then one for exotic animals. As you can see, the format is the same, the only difference being they're for selling items and not buying them like the hunting store is. I'll also mention if you add items to the stores, the images for those need to be added to the resources image folder. There's more information on that, customizing the UI color, restricting with licenses, and changing the notify in the README. The last section in here is for the animals. You have the model, whether it's exotic or not, 
the minimum and maximum time it takes to skin them, the items you get in their minimum and maximum amounts. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save, then start your server and test it out. So I'm in the server now and at the hunting shop, and I do have the dialogue system in. So I go ahead and interact with the pen. And you can see the options. So I'll go ahead and click the question about the hunting gear. And it tells you what's available. You can then go back, leave, or see the hunting gear, which takes you to the shop. You can scroll through and view all of the items or filter them by clicking at the top. So I'll go ahead and buy a sniper rifle. And there's a notification letting you know you recharged. And then I'll go ahead and buy some ammo for it as well. And you can enter the amount. So I'll just do 10. And then press escape to close the menu. Alright, and there's a deer over there. So I'll go ahead and shoot it. And just target it to skin it. And that's a nice progress timer. And there's another notification that tells you you skinned an animal. I also got deer meat and deer hide. So I'll find the meat buyer. I think it's down here. So you can see what type of meat they buy and a list is provided. Then you can go back, leave, or sell some meat. So I'll go ahead and do that. Then you can choose which meat to sell and see how much they sell for. So I'll go to the deer meat and enter an amount. I don't remember how many I got. And then I'll go ahead and sell them. And of course it lets you know how much you received and how much you sold. So then I move on to the hide buyer. So over here again you can see what they buy sell or leave so i'll go ahead and sell again then find deer on the list and i'll just do three and sell it that'll be all for this video if you enjoyed it and it helped you out please leave a like and a sub if you have suggestions feel free to comment down below or join my discord the link will be in the description thank you for watching